Hello guys, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about one more technical indicator which is simple moving average and we are going to see how to calculate simple moving average using Excel. So as we know simple moving average is basically a simple average which is keep moving throughout your day. It means, let me explain this in a very simple term first and then we can move to, to Excel to calculate this simple moving average. So as we all know, simple average is basically average of some of the numbers. Now let's say I have five days and I want to see what is the average price of these five days. Let's say this is D1 price. D1 price means day one price. This is let's say day two price. This is let's say day three price, day four price, and day five price. So I have day one price, day two price, day three price, day four price, and day five price. Or I can see I mean, I can say that I have day one data, day two data, day three data, day four data, and day five data. Or you can say instead of days, if you have any unit, then you can say, you know, you have five unit of data or you have five data points basically, right? And if you want to calculate the average, so basically what you need to do is you just need to add them all and divide it by five. That is your simple average, right? So if you have like, you know, day data, let's say day one data, day two data, day three data, day four data, day five data, which is D1, D2, D3, D4, D5. Then if you want to see what is my average price, then you just need to add all of them divided by five. That is what it is. Now, let's say, you know, on the day six, okay, on the day six, I have day six data also. But I, I also want to see what is my last five days average price. So the last five, five days will be what? Your day two, day, day three, day four, day five, and day six, right? That, that is your last five day data. Then what you need to do, you just need to add D2 price, D3 price, D4 price, D5 price, and D6 price, D6 price divided by five. So that is your average five days data on day six, right? Let's say if you want to see, you have day seven data. Now you want to see what is my average price for last five days. So last five days will be what? D3, D4, D5, D6, and D7. So what you need to do, you just need to add all the data from D3 to D7 divided by five. That is your last five days average data. So now this concept is basically, so now here on the, on the D5, you just need to add D1 to D5 divided by five. And then on D6, you are adding the data from D2 to D6 divided by five. On the D7, you are adding the data from D3 to D7 divided by five. So that means the average is keep moving. That is what we are saying, you know, moving average right so let's go to um, an excel file and let's understand this concept in an excel file in a very easy manner how to calculate that okay so if so now you can see this is my you know one excel file and i think this is so basically this is every day data you know so this is one of the you know uh, stocks price every day data price this is the closing price of every day you can see here first of uh, 4th of January 2021 till all the way down I think it's still 31st one so this is one of the stock price data and this is the everyday price data so now so let's say on like here on 8th of January okay here I have all the last five days data I have first 4th of January close price, I have 5th of January close price, I have 6th of January close price, 
I have 7th of January close price and I have 8th of January close price. So here I have all the five days data. Now I want to see what is the average price of the last five days. So what is the last five days here? So one, two, three, four, five. So all the five days here. So here I just want to see what is the average price. Now this one, I select this and then plus this one plus this one plus this one plus this one so what is the total price here 667 divided by 0 0.71 so that is the total sum of all the five days price right and now if you divided that divided by five so that is coming 133.45542 is is your average price of the last five days data okay now instead of doing that there is an excel there is a function in excel to calculate the average right so what we can do we can just simply say here and the function name is average so a v e you type a v e you can see here a v e then select on this or you can double click on this or you can just simply press tab button in keyboard you will get with a uh, bracket start bracket and then here it is saying numbers so what are the numbers that you want to take an average so i i want the number number from here to here just select this from here to here so b2 to b6 b2 means b column and it row 2 b2 and b6 means b column and row 6 so b2 to b6 so you just drag select and drag your this thing or you can write here b2 to b6 and then end your brackets and then press enter so you can see the price here 133.542 now coming to the next day here so on 9th of january you have all the data because this is a closing closing price so you have data for 9th 8th 7 6 and 5 these are the five day and this is sixth day so last five day means starting from 5th of january to 9th of january that is five days data right so here again you will calculate the average and tab and then just calculating here to here enter you will get this price again here you will equal to then see average right and then here to here five days now you understand so instead of keep calculating like this there is another shortcut here what you need to do just simply delete all so first day you just simply calculate the average of b2 to b6 and then enter you will get this price now you can simply copy this formula all the way to down so how to do that just copy here and then all the way down control down then here and then going up so just simply control v you will see this formula has been copied all the cell and then now you can see all the average price from each day okay now there is another shortcut also let me delete this and show you another way so instead of control c and control v all the way down so what you can do here also if you see there is a rec rectangle uh, sign here on if you can see my cursor if you move your cursor from here to this one you can see a plus sign right you can double click on that plus sign and all the formula can copy it from all the way to down till the till the place where the data is there this is how you can just copy paste your all the formula from you know top to bottom now now you understand so once the formula has been copied so each day you got the last five days average price so here this 133.904 average price of how many days now one two three four five so this to this the average is this now here 18th of january the price will be one two three four five so from 14th of january to 18th of january this average price is this so this is how you can calculate the simple moving average in excel right 
so uh, you know in in this series of video i'm going to put uh, you know so many technical indicators uh, you know using python and using excel how to calculate them just check out all the uh, you know list there so that you can see all the all of my video to uh, to the entire series that right? uh, what are the technical indicators how you know i can calculate or how we can calculate them in excel and how we can calculate them in python thank you for watching this video i hope you understand this concept thanks